the town hall Newry. And tonight, let no one right above the door abandon hope, all ye who enter. For tonight, this is the hall of hope, the denouement of dreams, and possibly, in some cases, the beginning of the devotion of a lifetime. For the Bachelors Club of Newry are having themselves a ball inside. And I mean that literally, having themselves a ball. Come on in out of the cold. What are the qualifications for membership? Well, you must be number one unmarried, and number two, you must be over 21. What are the aims and objects of the club? Well, I would say primarily is uh, to promote matrimony. So but you want to get married? Well, uh, not me, but you know, no, <laughs> no, not exactly, no. <laughs> but I would like to get the other boys pushed off, you know, like show a good example to the new, younger Roy, members to come along. Roy, come yeah. in again. How long have you been a member of the club? Charles, I'd say about seven years. How is it you haven't been caught yet? I don't know, Charles. Just it's a very funny things, thing, Charles. Charles. Do you think you have any prospects here tonight? I think maybe this year, Charles. Well, we hope so anyway. <laughs> this is leap year. Are you looking for a husband here tonight? No, not particularly. Well, what are you doing here? Just enjoying myself. Good. Now, you're a woman, obviously. <laughs> uh, supposing you loved a man, this is leap year, and you wanted him to marry you, would you ask him? No. Not even in leap year? No. Do you think she'd be right or wrong in asking? Well, you wouldn't know. Like, it would all depend on the circumstances, you know. Well, they're certainly having a ball. And I think one of the happiest men here must be me, because I can go and flirt with these lovely young ladies. I can say whatever I like to them without the possibility of being misunderstood or having to take up a lifetime contract. Because, you see, I was caught long ago. And if I had anything to say to these lovely but single ladies, I'd probably say, well, much as I sympathize with your unfortunate predicament, Jacqueline, I am all right.